What does it mean to be overbowed? The simplest answer is probably something like shooting a bow that is too much for you to handle. If we break this down in more detail, it might be something like shooting a bow where the poundage is too heavy for you and as a result, you are not able to shoot it with proper or correct form repeatedly. It's a decent workout. This bow is about 62 pounds at my draw, and these arrows are about 650 grains. This bow is about 42 pounds at my draw, and the arrows weigh about 450 grains. I like to think that even though it's a much lighter bow to shoot, the form between this bow and my other bow are nearly identical. Having said that, my form is not perfect, and I'll be the first person to admit that I am not an expert. The purpose of this video is not at all to convince you that you need to shoot a really heavy bow because a lot of people don't want to shoot a heavy bow. And that's fine. All I want to do with this video is get people to maybe think a little bit more critically about their shot process and really think about whether or not they are in fact overbowed or not. So play nice in the comments. My inspiration for making this video is this bow in my hands here. It's made by Nick Linton of Norseman Traditional Bows in Australia. And this model is his Chieftain, which is a straight laid longbow. So it's true to the Howard Hill or the D style longbows. I arranged to meet Nick at his house where he builds his bows and start to get an idea about what I wanted out of a longbow besides looking awesome. This bow was predominantly going to be a hunting bow. So Nick knew that I was shooting a recurve in that low 60 pound range, so he grabbed a bunch of bows off his rack and watched me draw them, watched me shoot them. Most of them were between that 52 to 63 pound range, and he told me, look, if you're looking after yourself and you're working out, there's no reason why you can't handle a bow in that mid to low 60s kind of poundage. Nick is a big, strong bloke. He's actually a very experienced weightlifter. I wouldn't say I'm experienced, but I do lift weights because I like to look after myself for one, two, I really enjoy it, and three, being someone of fairly small stature, as you can see here, the stronger I am, the easier it is for me to shoot bows. And no, I'm not saying you have to be a weightlifter if you want to be into archery. I'm just bringing it up because lifting weights definitely helps me shoot the kinds of bows I want to. The point of all that was Nick and I had a great chat about lifting weights and living an active lifestyle and I trusted him to make a bow that I could handle. So this bow came out right on 65 pounds at 26 and a half inches, which is my draw length with a bow of this style. And Nick said to me, if you keep working on your strengths and you keep active and you keep shooting these kinds of bows, you'll be able to enjoy shooting this bow for a very long time.
In terms of living an active lifestyle, some of it is out of necessity, like cutting and splitting firewood to keep my house warm over winter. Some of it is out of enjoyment because I really like hiking up and down the mountains with a heavy backpack. That's the way I like to hunt. Some of it is a mixture of the two. For example, I really enjoy lifting weights, but the main reason why I do it is to help me be stronger to accomplish all the other things I like to do in life. And because archery is one of the things I really enjoy doing, the stronger I am, the more I can enjoy it. This brings up the idea of practice. When we want to get better at something, we don't just do it over and over again in the way that we enjoy it. We need to push ourselves. I'll make another connection here with a different passion of mine, guitar playing. I like to play fast, heavy metal guitar, and I'm always practicing right at the limit of my speed. So everything else I actually want to do to enjoy seems much easier. What does that look like with archery? Well, it means doing a hell of a lot more than just heading out to the yard and shooting arrows because it's fun. Unfortunately, it usually means being very critical of your shot process, looking at the things you're terrible at and working just on them to build a much stronger shot process overall. That could mean a variety of things. You can see me here shooting this target very close to take aiming completely out of the equation so I can just focus on expansion. With a heavy bow that's very important because you're much more likely to collapse. It could also mean doing online courses like Tom Clum's Solid Archery Mechanics that has been a godsend for me. Here I'm practicing at 40 yards which is very difficult for me at least. One of the reasons is because this bow weighs almost nothing. So holding it steady when I'm trying to reference my point is very difficult. But what that means is no matter how much my hand floats around, I have to just expand and trust that my arrows are going to land where I want them to. Don't get me wrong though, dropping arrows at 40 yards with this kind of bow is great fun but it's hard work. Getting back to this idea of being overbowed though, I'm not stupid. I know that when I start to get tired and my form breaks down, I put down the longbow and I pick up something lighter. Look here for example, I'm shooting my Black Widow PCH, but these limbs are about 51 pounds at my draw. Having the quiver on this bow just adds to the overall mass. So holding it steady at 40 yards, combined with the fact that it's nearly 15 pounds lighter at my draw, makes it an absolute breeze. I like to think of my longbow as a really finicky mountain rifle. Very hard hitting, very hard to hold steady. A Black Widow like this is almost like a heavy barreled target rifle. You can accomplish the same things, but one of them is easier than the other. Having said that, the more I get confident and competent with the longbow, the easier everything else is. I almost treat the longbow as a physical exercise, as well as fun. Let's go right back to the original question. Are you overbowed? Am I overbowed? If your measure of being overbowed means you need to be able to shoot your bow several hundred times in one day without fatigue, then sure, you could say I'm overbowed. I can't do that with my longbow right now. Having said that, I'm definitely working towards being able to do that. I would argue, and this is something for all of you to consider, if you are capable of shooting with correct form most of the time, and you are critical enough of your process that you can pick up things that are wrong and work on them. And 
you know when to put the bow down because you're getting fatigued and everything's breaking down anyway, then maybe you're not overbowed. Maybe you're just shooting fairly heavy bows because you enjoy it and you like to challenge yourself. That's great. I think that that scenario is very different to the newcomer that we're all familiar with who is probably overbowed as a result of being naive and not understanding the fundamentals effectively. But please keep in mind, I still consider myself a newcomer as well. So all of this needs to be taken with a grain of salt. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Have a think about what I've brought up. Have some good discussion in the comments or on Facebook or wherever you might see this. And if you've got any other ideas about archery philosophy, I guess you could say videos that you'd like to see me make or consider, then please let me know.